In this section, we will talk about VX LAN. Guys, server virtualization has placed increased demands on the legacy network infrastructure. A bare metal server now has multiple virtual machines and containers, each with its own MAC address. This has led to a number of problems with traditional layer networks such as host mobility is difficult to implement, ECMP is not supported, STP spanning tree protocol is blocking the links to avoid loops and this results in a large number of disabled links which is unacceptable and large MAC address tables are needed due to hundreds of thousands of VMs and containers attached to the network and the 12-bit VLAN ID yields 4000 VLANs which are insufficient for server virtualization. And VXLAN is an overlay data plane encapsulation scheme that, that was developed to address the various issues seen in traditional layer 2 networks. It extends layer 2 and layer 3 overlay networks over a layer 3 underlay network using MAC in IP and UDP tunneling. Each overlay is termed as a VXLAN segment. So when it comes to the VXLAN packet format, guys, the uh, IANA assigned to VXLAN the UDP destination port of, let me type to you, 4789. And the default UDP destination port used by Linux is 8472. The reason for this discrepancy is that when VXLAN was first implemented in Linux, the VXLAN UDP destination port had not yet been officially assigned and Linux decided to use 8472 since many vendors at the time were using UDP destination port 8472. Later, IANA assigned port 4789 for VXLAN and to avoid breaking existing deployments, Linux distributions decided to leave port 8472 as the default value of network identifier which allows for up to 16 million VXLAN segments to coexist within the same infrastructure. The VNI is located in the VXLAN shim header that encapsulates the original inner MAC frame originated by an endpoint. The VNI is used to provide segmentation for layer 2 and layer 3 traffic. To facilitate the discovery of VNIs over the underlay layer 3 network, virtual tunnel endpoints VTEPs are used guys. VT, VTAPs uh, are entities that originate or terminate the VXLAN tunnels. They map layer 2 and layer 3 packets to the VNI to be used in the overlay network. Each VTAP has two interfaces and they are, you can see in here, local LAN interfaces and the IP interface. For these interfaces, for the local LAN interfaces, uh, these interfaces guys on the local LAN segment provide bridging between uh, local hosts, okay? And when it comes to the IP interface, this is a core facing network interface for VXLAN, you can see also in here. The IP interface's IP address helps identify, to identify the VTAP in the network. It, it is also used for VXLAN traffic encapsulation and de-encapsulation. And also keep in mind that devices that are not capable of supporting VXLAN and need to use traditional VLAN segmentation can be connected to VXLAN segments by using a VXLAN gateway. A VXLAN gateway is a VTAP device that combines a VXLAN segment and a classic VLAN segment into 
one common layer to domain.